Hello and welcome to this week's Bolsover TV. My name's Michael. Let's take a look at what's been making the headlines this week. We unearth more treasures at Creswell Crags. Sherbrooke Miners Welfare Band are hosting a special celebration event. The Louise Smalley Walk returns with a brand new route. And Miami Glow in Sherbrooke invites you to enjoy one of their many beauty treatments. But first, Bolsover District Council has teamed up with Rent Plus UK, with 14 homes being made available to help renters become homeowners. The homes offer an affordable pathway to home ownership, as it offers those unable to save large deposits required to access other types of housing. These deposits can amount to between 15 and £30,000, with fees added on top. The Rent Plus scheme allows residents to move into a brand new home without a deposit, and pay an affordable rent for the duration of their lease. They are then given the opportunity to buy that property at key points during the lease. This is the first scheme that Rent Plus has run in Bolsover District, and we went to the launch in Bolsover to find out more. So Rent Plus approached us quite early on in the scheme um, and asked us to work with them to advertise their properties and help them select the people who'd be moving in. So we did that through the council's choice based letting website and people who are on our housing list were able to apply for these properties. And we've continued to work closely with Rent Plus in making sure that the allocations have gone through and the right people are getting the opportunity to live in these properties. Oh, this scheme is a fantastic opportunity for people who maybe can't afford to get on the property ladder at the moment to move into a beautiful brand new property and then Rent Plus offer an option so you can either purchase the property either 5, 10 or 15 years into your tenure um, and they will give you a 10% towards a deposit. So it's a fantastic opportunity to, for someone who's maybe start quite early on in their career wanting the benefit of a family home but can't quite afford a mortgage at this moment in time. It's an affordable rent so they can put some savings aside to build up a deposit so in five years time when hopefully they've progressed a little bit in their career they can afford a mortgage. For every Rent Plus house we deliver across the country, the demand is absolutely huge. Uh, on average, there are 80 families waiting to move into every Rent Plus home that we are able to deliver. 80 families. So we're desperate to grow. Uh, we know we can't grow without the help of forward thinking local authorities. And um, our biggest thanks goes to Bolsover, because without their foresight and, and their determination to, to make this work, from their housing enabling team, through their planning team, their legal team, and of course the leadership team, the members who supported us, uh, we wouldn't be here today. So a huge thank you to Bolsover. Without you, as this wouldn't work, and we need more local authorities to take that great leap of faith that you have done. Now, for the next chapter of our feature, Unearthed at Creswell Crags, we take a look at something very, very special indeed. Dr. Angrahad Jones showed us a woolly rhinoceros tooth, which is around 40,000 years old and was found in Pinhole Cave at Creswell Crags. The woolly rhino is related to the rhinos that we see today, but it's a different species and sported a thick woolly coat to keep warm in Ice Age conditions. But I won't spoil any more. Let's see what Dr. Jones had to tell me at Creswell Crags. Yeah, so we've got um, a tooth of a willow rhinoceros here. So um, these are the roots underneath, and this is the biting surface of the tooth, uh, which a lot of people say looks like a smiley face. So this would be like the top of your teeth. So if you think of your mo molars in the back of your teeth, that would be the top of your teeth. This bit would be the roots that would fit into your lower jaw, and then you'd have the gum sort of over your jaw as well. So this is the bit that sticks out of your your mouth and then you'd have the same on top as well. So I think based on where this was found, which was pinhole, and based on the deposits that it was found in, I think this was roughly around about 40,000 years old. So wow. around about the time when we had the spotted hyenas at yeah, Creswell Crags as well. At the time, it was fairly cool conditions, quite dry, um, a lot of open grassland with a few trees, um, and then you'd have like the classic Ice Age species like the woolly rhinoceros and the woolly mammoth and the reindeer alongside carnivores like the spotted hyena and the cave lion as well. Wow, so there's actually a vast range of different species that were all here at the same time? Yeah, so it was quite productive grassland um, at the time because it wasn't full glacial conditions, it wasn't really cold. Um, there was quite productive grassland which was able to support the large herbivores like the woolly rhinoceros and the woolly mammoth and that provided a lot of food for the carnivores as well. 
Now, the whole district was shaken when news broke of the tragic attack on Ken and Frida Walker in their Langworth Junction home. The attack killed Frida and Ken passed away a few months later due to illness. Sharbrook Miners Welfare Band wanted to do something to honour the couple who were extremely active in their community. So they're holding a celebration event in memory of Ken and Frida on Friday the 28th of April at Fraser's Group Academy with all the proceeds going to the Lighthouse Project. We, we, we're pleased to do um, a concert, both the senior band and the B band, and it's to celebrate Ken and Frida Walker, um, who were v very good supporters of the band. Ken used to be down in the band room all the time. We did jobs for him all the time. We've had tremendous support from the council. We're uh, putting on a concert uh, on the 28th at 7.30 at the Fraser Group uh, Theatre up, up, upstairs. Uh, hopefully it will be a spectacular evening. We're hoping to get about 300 people there. And with the results of that, um, we, we're hoping to make about £2,000, which will go towards the, the Lighthouse Trust, which is a, a, a charitable organisation helping homeless youths in, um, in Shirebrook. From the 4th of May this year, voters in England will need to show photo ID to vote at polling stations in some elections. Acceptable forms include a passport, driver's licence, bus pass or blue badge. If you don't have an acceptable photo ID, then you can apply for a free voter ID document, which is known as a voter authority certificate. The Louise Smalley Challenge Walk is now open for participants to sign up for this year's walk. It's a brand new route starting in Matlock and covers approximately 40 miles all the way to Whitwell. If you're up for the challenge, the walk takes place on Saturday the 17th of June and is raising money for the Rotherham Abuse Counselling Services. If you don't feel like walking but you would still like to support the walk, then just get in touch with the organisers to see how you can help. Apply to take part before the end of May this year by visiting the louisesmalleywalk.com. And finally, Miami Glow in Sharbrook is a one-stop shop for all your beauty needs. They offer tanning, hair, aesthetics, nails, brows, lashes and much, much more. They're celebrating their sixth birthday this year and the business is going from strength to strength. They welcome anyone through their doors and promise an amazing experience, one that is warming and inviting. They've hired a former beauty apprentice too, who's been making the most of learning from the very best. We wanted to go down and see what they have to offer for ourselves. We've got, um, it's an all-in-one stop shop really. We've got the tanning, we do aesthetics, we've got lashes, brows, beauty, hair, nails. We do it all. It's your one-stop shop for everything. Okay. All your beauty needs. So we've got four tanning beds. We've got three lie down tanning beds, one stand up um, solarium. Um, basically, minutes start from three minutes and go all the way up to 18 minutes. You can buy block bookings if you want to, and that'll save the customers money. We also do lashes and brows, that's one of my specialities. So we announce our ladies into having those beautifully sparkly eyes. And what made you become an apprentice here at Miami Glow? Well, I was going to do beauty at college and then. When I found out that they did beauty here, I thought, oh, I can do both. I can get qualifications from college and from Michelle. And how much have you enjoyed working here? I love working here. Yeah? yeah. Why do you love working here? Uh, it's just such a friendly, friendly place. Everyone gets on with everybody. It's just peaceful and calm. We're, we're really happy with the way things are going. Strength to strength, and we, we certainly won't be here if it wasn't for our customers. What would be your USP? Unique selling point. It's easy. Welcome, friendly, great value for money. Fabulous experience at Miami Glow. Well, that certainly looks like a wonderful place to treat yourself. I'd highly recommend it. But I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this week. But please join us next week when we'll be heading to Pinkston to speak to fundraisers who are sleeping under canvas for a very good cause. But for now, goodbye.